Hello there and welcome to this brief demonstration of Balaboka, which is a text-to-speech program. What that means is this program will read text on the screen out loud to us. Uh, it's a free piece of software and it's got quite a lot of features that some people will find useful. Uh, the basic features are it will import text from a number of different file types, documents, PDF files, web pages, text files, quite a number. And we'll put them in this reading area and we can click in with our cursor and have text read aloud like so. A certain king had a beautiful garden and in the garden stood a tree which bore golden apples. The okay, we can change the voice from any voice we have installed on our computer. Uh, we can change the rate, the pitch and the volume. Okay, so there's a lot of text-to-speech engines out there. Uh, this one's quite nice because I like the highlighting, but it also comes with a number of different features which you won't find in any other program. Now, one of these features is to use something called direct speech, which allows us to change the way that the voice reads certain aspects. So if we have speech that is in speech marks, hyphens, these double arrow brackets, different types of speech marks, it will read them differently. It will understand this is to be read in a different voice. Okay, so I've added some tags to this, uh, pro, uh, this bit of text. Now you can see one of the tags. So it's basically going to tell this to read in a different voice when it reaches that section. So here we go. Everyone agreed that it was worth more than all the wealth of the kingdom. But the king said, One feather is of no use to me. I must have the whole bird. Then the gardener's eldest son set out and thought to find the golden bird very easily. Okay, so it did read the, what was in the speech marks in a different voice. Its highlighting went off a little bit strange. Now, the program does warn us this might not work correctly, but it's quite a useful feature. I've not seen that in any other text-to-speech engine ever, and I work with these programs a lot. Um, other features that it has of interest are, well, it's got something called the sp Spritz Reader. Now, this is going to read in a slightly different way. It's not going to read out loud to us. It's going to read the same text, but it's going to show it visually, and it's going to highlight key letters of the text. So we can set the speed. I'll set this to 250. By default, it's on 300, which is a little fast for me. English, United States, why not leave that? If we have a brief look at the settings, it's actually demonstrating what it's going to do. We can have a marker or a frame. We can position this text box that's going to read in on the different parts of our screen. It's going to go in the middle. You can also the font size. We can even change the colour, so I like, have, I like to have a background colour of green when reading. And it's going to read that text for us. Here we go. Okay, it goes a bit funny with those, um, those markers in there, so we should maybe take out the markers before using this. But it's a way of speed reading to get information. Okay, so that's Balaboka. Now, Downside is it uses a text reading area, which I'm not always keen on, but it is a free program. Uh, another thing, it doesn't have optical character recognition, so it can't take text from a scanner, so we'd need a separate program to use that. But on the whole, it's a really decent program, and it's free.